Hey everyone, good morning and uh, welcome back to our video lecture series which is based on the difference equation part 2. So today this is our lecture number 8 and previously we have completed a uh, difference operator and a uh, summation article. Okay, And uh, in the previous video we have seen some examples which were related to the summation and today we will complete the two articles and this is the last part of the summation okay and uh, from tomorrow we will see some new article that is the generating functions and approximate summation okay so let's start with the theorem first the statement is if m minus n then m is uh, less than n then the summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 a k delta b k is equals to a k into b k limit from m to n minus summation k equals to m to n minus 1 delta of a k and b k plus 1. So we have to prove this if the m is less than n. So kais ni hai simply apla la solve karaj jai jai. Ta apla la kai choose karaj jai y of n equals to a n and z of n equals to b n. So, y n and z n upon consider karu ki a n and b n n. In summation by parts we get summation over a n delta b n is equals to a n b n minus summation delta a n and b n plus 1. He value up lala my dear. Then, Therefore, summation over k equals to m to n minus 1 a k delta b k will be equals to this as it is minus summation on this. So, a n chas agi a k and b n plus 1 chas agi b k plus 1 and plus constant. Okay. Now, we considering that n equals to m plus 1. Let n equals to m plus 1 in above 1. Okay. So, kai kare chai? n jithe jithe ahe tithe m plus 1 put karai chai. Ata k equals to m from n minus 1 hota apla zavar. Ta n minus 1 chas agi apan put kai karana re. n chas agi put karana re m plus 1. So, n minus 1 will be equals to m plus 1 minus 1. Okay. So, this will be equals to m a k delta b k is equals to ithe n n ahe. Ta chas agi put karai chai m plus 1 m plus 1. So, a m plus 1 and b m plus 1 minus summation from k equals to m to m n minus 1 hota that is agi upon n chas agi m plus 1 put kela so m plus 1 minus 1 that is equals to m ok urla gai delta a k b k plus 1 ani urla la constant as it is now that is equals to a m delta b m karan limits ka hai same hai so, a will answer am delta bm. K chas agi m put karun. Thik hai? That is equals to am plus 1, bm plus 1 minus same. Limit same asli. Apla la answer as it is a limit put karun. Thik hai? So, answer ka yil delta am bm plus 1 plus c. Okay. Then, that will be equals to am this delta will be applied on bm so the answer is bm plus 1 minus bm that is equals to a m plus 1 bm plus 1 minus again delta is applying on this so am plus 1 minus am and remaining is bm plus 1 plus c okay then if we solve this and multiply this into this we get am bm plus 1 minus am bm equals to am plus uh, sorry am plus 1 bm plus 1 minus this into this am plus 1 bm plus 1 minus minus plus am bm plus 1 okay plus c this is the constant now as we can see am bm plus 1 and am b plus uh, bm plus 1 this is plus this is minus correct Haan. so this will be cut am bm this will be remaining 
and these two will be cancelled. Okay. So, this is the remaining one. So, minus AM BM equals to C. C C value minus minus AM BM. So, C equals to minus AM BM and we are putting this into this equation. So, C C value with us are put kelly tapla kaimel summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 a k delta b k is equals to a n b n as it is and is c c values are upon put kelly tar kai in a n b n minus a m b m and is urlela minus summation k equals to m delta a k b k plus 1 as it is okay so from this we can write upper limit n lower limit m so a k b k from limit m to n minus summation as it is delta a k b k plus 1 and this is our required answer okay so this is the formula for if m is less than n then we can write that summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 a k delta b k is equals to this okay so hence we have proved this theorem and now we will see the next one so the next one is abel's summation formula atta jo apan theorem paila tachas use karun aplyala abel's summation formula solve karaycha thik hai so m is less than n then summation over ck dk is equals to dn delta uh, sorry summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 ck minus summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 over summation ci delta dk ata baga consider kai karaycha ki a k equals to b k ahe ani delta b k equals to a k ahe manje opposite ahe thik hai in this thing ta yat jithe jithe a k ahe tithe b k put karaycha ani jithe jithe delta b k ahe tithe a k put karaycha thik hai So, what we are getting? Summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 b k into a k. Ata baga a k cha zagi b k put ke la ani delta b k cha zagi a k put ke la. So, that is equals to b k summation over a k and limit from m to n minus summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 delta a k cha zagi sorry b k plus 1 ani delta a k la apan asa lila delta b k ani summation from i equals to m to k a i that is equals to summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 a k into b k lila apan neet equals to b n summation from k equals to m to n minus 1 a k minus b m summation from k equals to m to m minus 1 a k limits put ke lia ani answer lela ani rai lela kai minus summation k equals to m to n minus 1 summation from a uh, summation from i equals to m to k a i and remaining delta b k as it is and this was the solution okay so this is the summation uh, sorry abel's summation formula which we have solved using the this theorem okay and uh, now we will see one example. So, the example is compute summation from k, summation from k equals to 1 to n minus 1 over k into 3 to the power k. Okay, that's how the summation apply karun answer kada is. So, apply kade kai dila la k into 3 to the power k, that's how the summation apply kila or limit apply hutil minus kai oril. याचाच यूज करून करायचा अबेल समेशन फॉर्म्युलाचा यूज करून याचा यूज करून हे एग्जांपल सॉल्व करायचे ठीक आहे सो समेशन अप्लाई करायचं लिमिट्स अप्लाई करायचा आणि हे सॉल्व करून तुम्हाला काय मिळेल 3 टू द पावर n 2n 3 3 4 आता हे एग्जांपल आपण केलं याचाच सारखं तुमच्याकडे हे एग्जांपल आहे आणि हे तुम्हाला Homework manun hai. So, you have to do this by your own. Okay. And uh, this is all for today's lecture. So, now we have completed two articles. That is the difference operator and the summation. 
and now after this we are starting the third and the last article of this unit that is generating function and the approximate summation okay so we will start it in the next video so for today this is all thank you so much